What's up guys? Uh, today, I think what I wanna do, something a little different, I wanna introduce you completely to a vehicle I got a while back that I haven't really talked about much lately, kinda of talk about the plans, and that is Caliente. So this bad boy is a 1980 uh, C10 step side. The uh, story behind this truck is bought new in California by my grandmother. And uh, I was able to hang on to it. So let me, uh, let me get it out and I'll tell you the rest of the story. Let's see if I'm talented enough to moto vlog. I know a lot of guys do this, ride around, film themselves driving something. So the story goes, uh, truck was bought new by my grandma in 80, I believe, probably maybe 79. They usually come out the year before they're available. And uh, I mean, I was born in the late 70s, so like this truck was a huge part of my life growing up. Um, I have some of my earliest memories. Um, these, this truck is in them. Uh, I fell out of the back of this thing when I was really little. It's got one of those tailgates that goes all the way down. You C10 guys know what I'm talking about. It has the chains with the hooks. It kind of holds that thing where it's supposed to be. Well, if you're a kid just playing around in the back of this thing and you unhook it and then the whole tailgate falls down. And guess what happens to the kid? He falls out and falls on his head, which is me. So. Anyway, my grandma, she kept it all those years. She never got rid of it. She always had it. Uh, when I got to be driving age, uh, 15 years old here in South Carolina, when I would go out there to visit uh, in the summertime, she would let me drive this thing around California. Um, so, you know, a lot of memories, a lot of memories in this thing. And she kept it pretty dang close to all original. I mean, from the spare tire, the spare tire mount, the, the original, you know, bumper, they didn't change really anything. At some point she did have the motor uh, redone and had it painted. Uh, they didn't really touch the interior. So it is basically what I consider a, um, survivor. It's basically a survivor truck. had a plan of where I was going, but I think I just missed my road. So I'm gonna have to turn around right quick. Hopefully these people right here don't mind me using their driveway. So the plans are for this thing. Well, you know, the the if you guys know me, if you've been around the channel for a little while, you guys know me probably well enough to know that I love the Fox bodies and I'm a huge C10 fan, which is kind of counterintuitive if, if you want me to pick a side, Chevy or Ford, because I'm not gonna pick a side. I just like cool stuff and the C10s, and I, I think the Fox bodies are cool. I think it has more to do with um, some of the experiences I had growing up. Um, I kind of attribute all my car liking to memories I had in the past which I think is probably a lot of people I mean I guess there's some that are just about what's cool what's fast what their buddies have but for me it's more about memories and this truck is one of those things so that being said like my first thing I want to do 
as a C10 lover is drop it, right? GSI the whole thing, a roadster shop the whole the whole chassis, put it on air ride, drop this thing on the ground. But I think it's too nice of a truck for that. And I don't really want to take away from the memories that I have of this truck. Uh, I don't want it to be something that it wasn't before, right? So I think what I'll do is I may still do that at some point, either the dually or I may leave the dually alone as well and maybe buy another something else to do that to just keep this one the way it is. And maybe restore this thing back to pristine original condition. So I'll kind of show you a couple problem areas that I think it has that needs to be fixed or addressed. Um, I want to basically daily this thing. I want to drive it all the time. There's a couple uh, mechanical issues that need to be addressed as well. I think I want this thing to be fuel injected, but don't believe that I'm going to like LS swap it. I think I'm going to do more of like the uh, uh, fuel injected carburetor setup. So probably have that on the channel at some point too. And I think I'm still lost. looking for There's a little cul-de-sac down here where I can get out we can kind of do some outside picks so the nickname I came up for this truck was Caliente if you guys remember uh, I think it fits it really well um, it's hot it's a hot little it's a hot little I still don't think this is the right road to find out there's all these little lake subdivisions out here where I live uh, that they haven't sold the property to yet so like you probably see like these are just all bare lots that haven't been developed yet it's like an opportune place to come down here and do some donuts or big smoky burnouts it's just kind of tough for me sometimes because I'm like the rule, the I buy by the rules. You know what I'm saying? Maybe one day. So anyway, you see the truck's in pretty dang good shape. Uh, some of the things that need to be addressed are the door panels. So these are the original door panels. It looked like maybe at some point they had been painted. Um, the dash obviously needs to be replaced. These things are notorious for cracking. But uh, all in all, I mean, this truck is in fantastic shape. I mean, you gotta think, like, this is the original dash. Uh, this is the original seat. And other than just some of the small, minor issues that it has, it is in primo condition. It runs, it runs remarkably well i mean i i don't really get it out and drive it as much as i probably should uh so when you first kind of crank it up it kind of wants to sp sputter a little bit but um i mean the truck is just in great shape so that's what i was talking about on the tailgate for you guys that aren't familiar these things just slide out like that and then that tailgate can actually come all the way down until it hits the bumper uh, unless you hook these onto this little plate there so i talk about the memories i have out of falling out the back of this thing that's that's what it is i mean original wheels so one of the things that's really cool about this truck that i really like that gives it a ton of character is that my grandpa uh at the time when they purchased this, uh, had this thing etched, had the glass etched in it. And what's funny is that that was one of the things that stood out to me um, about this truck more than anything. And when I found out my grandpa, my grandma was wanting to get rid of it, I was like, I want it, I want to buy it, you know, whatever it takes. If, if I can afford it, you know, I want to make that happen. And so when I was talking to her, I was like, asking her some questions about it because it had been a long time since I'd seen it. And I said, does that thing still have the etched glass in it? 
She's like, ah, oh, no, we got rid of that stuff a long time ago. And coming to find out she didn't, it's still on there. So it's almost funny that I kind of knew what the truck had more so than what she did. So on this side, it's just got a ram, got a bull over there on that side. And then uh, my grandpa was into demolition derby. So he's got one car on this side and then he's got one etched on the other side as well. So crazy, crazy, uh, crazy character. I mean, that was probably etched in, gosh, probably like in mid eighties, if I had to guess, somewhere around there. It even has, even has the West Valley College sticker, parking sticker on there from like 89. So anybody out in the Silicon Valley area, West Valley shout out. So yeah. Um, so obviously I think I'm going to start on the interior on this thing. The exterior is really in good, good shape. So on the interior, probably the seat redone. I want to have it done as close to the original feel as I possibly can. Uh, need to realign the doors. The hinges are kind of sagging a little bit. Door panels are on the list, so redo the door panels. Want to keep this all as nice and original as I possibly can. The dash obviously will go out. New carpet. And staying true to this truck, I'll put everything back red. Normally that wouldn't be like my flavor, but it just makes this truck everything be in red. So that I'll do put some new belts in here. These belts have seen better days. And a new headliner. So headliner is not in terribly bad shape, but it just needs to be needs to be redone. And then other than that, just um, fixing some minor things. So as you can see, like the steering column itself has a tilt column. It's kind of got some play in there, so I'll probably pull all this apart, kind of fix that. All the gauges work pretty well. May end up going to like a d digital a Dakota digital setup. Um, not 100% sure, I haven't decided yet. Or just replace the factory stuff just to kind of keep it original. Uh, probably pull all the vents, clean those up, paint those if I need to. And then uh, maybe new weather stripping on the doors. Yeah, definitely new weather stripping on the doors. That'll happen um, for you guys that have some of these old trucks or even some of the Fox bodies. Replacing the weather stripping on the doors is like a really good fix for these things. It helps, it makes the doors shut real solid where it feels like a new car. And then, you know, if you have any kind of wind noise or leaking, it, it'll eliminate all that too. So, you know, it's a good cheap fix if you're if you're looking at uh, something, something to do to kind of make your old ride feel newer. So the back bumper back here does have a little surface rust. So I may end up purchasing another one of these. Like when I was saying, it has like the original tire carrier and everything. It's all original, even the exhaust. Like the original dual pipes out the same side. Never changed. I think this truck came factory with the tow package. I looked at the VIN on it just to kind of get some history on it. It was bought in Fremont, I think, or made in Fremont, California, I think is what it said. And um, we didn't live far from there, so when they purchased it, it was just from one of those local lots right there. And towing package, which was a code for that. I don't know, really know what exactly it was. So let's pop the hood. Take a look under the hood and kind of see what we got going on under there. And you'll see when I say this thing is like unmolested. It hadn't even, I mean, it's still got the smog stuff. I mean, this thing's still California smog legal, which is an amazing thing in itself. That's pretty hard to do. All the way down to like, I think that's like the cruise control. 
all the AC stuff, all the vacuum lines and everything are still in here. I mean, it's it needs some TLC, but I mean, it's all here. So under here, I'll clean it real well, I'll paint everything. Um, if I go with like a EFI setup on this, it'll be the carbureted version, and then I'll still be able to hide it under the factory breather. May get new stickers for that, paint that. And so when you lift the hood on this thing, I mean, it's gonna look, it'll it'll run, it'll be fuel injected, it'll run like it's brand new. And don't have to have any issues with it getting stranded or not running properly. But when you lift the hood, man, it's gonna look like 1980 all over again. So this is the 350 Chevrolet in this thing. And I think it was rebuilt, but I don't know how many miles it's got on it since then. And then obviously I'll clean up, paint everything, new stickers up here. The only thing I considered doing, and I still haven't made up my mind yet, um, is this thing needs a new grill. So it's got some dents in here, like to make this thing legit perfect or close to perfect, a new grill is gonna be needed to order. So what I thought about doing, because if you know anything about the C10s, 80 was like the only year that had this headlight setup and grill grill combination headlight and grill combination um thought about when i order this stuff order the 79 grill and headlight combo uh, just because it looks a little bit cooler it's got a round headlight which most people are used to in the square bodies and the, the grill itself looks a little bit better so y'all let me know what you think do i need to go back to the 79 or stay true to its roots and just keep the 80 on there let me know. Let me know. Put it put it in the comments. 79 or 80 grill. So anyway, there you go. Caliente. Hopefully soon I'll start kind of tinkering with this thing. Uh, I know a lot of you guys miss some of the C10 content. This and I'm also, you know, I had the dually up for sale for a while and I've decided I've now pulled it back off the off the market. I think I'm gonna keep it and just go through that thing, align those doors the way I want it. Just make that truck do the little bit of stuff I need to do to make it what I want it, and probably paint it. And uh, yeah, I can just see like the dually with an open car trailer with this thing on it, headed to Maggie v Valley for the uh, mini truck nationals or something. I don't know. I just like them. I like them when they're untouched like that too. I actually already started collecting parts. So if you noticed under the hood, Thing was all busted up going to the breather. I ordered one of those and oh, I got to convert the AC to to uh, what is it? R134. This thing still has R12 free on it. That's how, that's how original this bad boy is. All right, so there you go. A little introduction to Caliente. Hopefully, pretty soon I'll kind of start cranking out some videos on this thing. Uh, won't be no major fabrication, but you'll just kind of see the process of me going through uh, Going through this truck and just making it Bringing it back to its youth making it what it should be uh, What I'll probably do is I'll still keep the Bipster videos on Friday and Just make another day for maybe this truck and then maybe even kind of tinker with well I got a couple projects lined up that in the future so I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do that but that way too if you're not into C10s, then you know that on Tuesdays when I post these videos, you just don't even watch it. You just come back on Fridays for the Bipster content. So, I figured out. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me let, let me know what you think on Caliente. Uh, I don't know if you had a truck like this in your family that brings back some memories. Yeah, that's what it's about, right? It's about the memories. So anyway, as always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son. <laughs>